Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a simple acrylic infill that I'm gonna show you how to do. So my client come back and I've already removed her previous design and I'm going in and dehydrating the nails. So I've already done all my prep work and my cuticle work. I'm going with my dehydrator and now I'm applying my first coat of acid-based primer. You want to use this sparingly, so one dip and then a blot on my tissue and then I apply to all five fingers because if you apply too much primer it can actually have the opposite effect and not do very well for your acrylics. So moving on and now I'm just taking a medium sized bead. This bead was probably a little bit too big for the pinky finger but you know these things happen. I just worked with it and I can just file off that bulk at the end. And then I take my clear and I'm just placing it out the cuticle area, allowing it to flow and then I will go in and just push it into a flush finish with my brush, making sure that I've got none touching the skin, making sure every area of that new growth is covered nice and that we have a nice apex back in place where it should be. Any bulk that is still there I will just remove with my file afterwards. So when you are doing an infill, you always want to make sure that the previous acrylic is flush. That is such an important step. I mean, I've done it sometimes where, you know, my, my acrylics um, have not been the best and, you know, um, they haven't been flush and it does, you can give your clients greenies and it's not nice for them, it's not nice for you and it just, you know, so really pay attention to getting all that lifting if there is any removed. That is such an important step when doing infills. So the brush that I'm using here is my CJP size 10 and the acrylic that I'm using is also CJP. I'm using their crystal glass and their monomer. You can use any acrylic system that you find works for you. And I will just do this on all of the nails. So when you are doing an infill, you wanna make sure that your beads are not too big. You don't need a lot of acrylic at that cuticle area. But the most important thing is pushing it in with the tip of your brush, as you can see me doing, and making sure that it is super flush to the natural nail. And that way you're just gonna avoid lifting and things like that. Obviously, you wanna avoid any lifting as much as you possibly can. But you know what? I think all of us get lifting at some point in our lives and it is just one of them. So they've all been finished and filed and I'm just going straight in and applying a gel polish to the nails. Um, I'm not really a gel polish person, I don't really use that much gel polish, I think it's an art in itself. Um, I'm never ever happy with my gel polish application, I find it a pain in the arse. But today's gel that I'm using is the Gel Bottle Ink and this colour is number 108 I think. Um, it's just a nice baby pink and I'm not... I don't think I'm swapping brands, I just, this was sent to me for from a friend to try to see if I liked it. Um, but I still love my Madame Glam and I'm not sure whether I will be making that change. So I'm just going to go in on the three fingers except the ring finger and the thumb with this pink. But on the ring finger we're going to go in with accent gold leaf. And I'll just take my gel brush once I've finished faffing around. I just take my gel brush and then dip it into the pot and then just apply it onto the nail. You only literally need a tiny amount as well, it's really, really, really great coverage. Oh. 
I applied two coats of this onto every nail and then cured, applied my top coat and cured again and now I'm going in with my cuticle oil and that is the finished video. I hope you've enjoyed watching, if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please do. I love you all and I'll see you soon, bye!